In this video, I'm going to show you how to take this 2D image and convert it into this 3D model in seconds using AI. And we're going to use this model to create a very well balanced blockout, which is something that I know a lot of people are struggling with. So let's get started. So we're going to use an AI tool called Tripo in order to create this in literally seconds. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, if you're a beginner in Blender and you're just starting and you want to get into hard surface modeling, you need to learn much more than just blockouts. So I suggest you grab our course, Hard Surface Accelerator, which will teach you everything you need to know and none of the fluff. All the menus, all the most important tools, how to create blockouts, how to create details, how to create better designs, how to render them to create beautiful images for your portfolio. Everything is in that course. This course was created based on the feedback from over 100,000 students that we taught and it's a really tight curriculum so if you want to maximize your time and you want to learn blender as fast as possible this course is superb in addition if you're going to click the link in the video description you're going to get a nice discount for good luck all right so click the link in the video description and i'll see you inside now let's get back to our video so let's have a look at tripo here and we're on a main site so tripo 3d ai link in the video description and you can try it for free. You can see here, once you register, so once you register your account, you can try Tripo for free. You can create five models and see how it goes. And if you like it, you can just subscribe to it and also, you know, even download the plugin for Blender and you can connect it to Blender and connect your API key and you can use Blender with Tripo. In this video, we're going to try the free version and I'll show you how to upload an image and convert it to 3D. So you can take a very simple image and convert it to 3D and build a block out on top of this. And it's going to help you to maintain really good proportions and create a really robust block out. You can use this tool by typing prompts here or you can generate them automatically. Or you can just upload a 2D image and create a 3D image out of it. And that's what we're going to do. You can see here we get this triple free try five out of five right so we can have five goes at this and you know generate some stuff for free now here you can just keep cycling through these and when you have some cool prompt here you can click this and tripio is going to generate uh, 3d uh, model suggestions for you right but you can also upload an image so that's what we're gonna do right we're gonna click here and single image so we're gonna drag and drop an image here right and then I'm going to click on generate. If you have a very, you know, detailed image, it's a good idea to bring it to Photoshop and clean it up. So Tripio has a very kind of a clean design language to work with. But, you know, let's see how this goes. And maybe we're going to get something interesting. And there you go. You can see we're getting something. We can already preview this. And this is, you know, a full 3D model made out of this 2D image. And you can see that there is some kind of like a interpretation of this model backside which is a bit different uh, than what I've modeled, but uh, that's actually quite cool. I didn't expect that. And there you go. That's the final model. I think it looks pretty badass. So there you go. It's in HD. And now you can download it and bring it to Blender. You can click here to view it and then you can obviously download it. So we're going to change format to OBJ. Here we're going to stick with custom. That's fine. And we're not going to be really apologizing it because that's not what we need. And we're going to download it. You can even rig it if you wanted to. So it's pretty crazy. And uh, this tool is kind of like mix some mobile and steroids because you can actually create models out of it. I think it looks bloody brilliant considering it took, you know, like a few seconds to generate it. So I got this here on my drive. Let me just uh, extract this. So once you extract it, you're going to get uh, the, the files with the model and also texture, which is pretty cool. So, you know, color texture, so the base color, normal map, etc. It's pretty insane. So let's import this OBJ to Blender. So let me open Blender and I'm going to go with Machine Tools Control S and import OBJ. And we're going to import it in here. And there you go. There's your model created from a 2D image into 3D image. I think it's pretty mental. Obviously, this mesh is a mess in terms of, I mean, the mesh, the, the model, you know, the shading, everything is just a sort of like a clay preview of your blockout, but in 3D, which will be tremendously helpful in terms of, you know, aligning stuff in 3D space and helping you with maintaining proportions. Yeah. When you when you're building a your blockout and, you know, blockout is one of the most important stages of modeling, if not the most important one. Because if you're going to get your block out, you know, right, then everything falls into place. 
So if I'm gonna start you know, building this, I'm going to grab a cylinder and rotate it on X axis. I'm going to scale it. Then I can start aligning stuff on it. And let's just uh, align it on X axis here, like this, right? Maybe make it a little bit larger. Okay, so there's gonna be a wheel and I'm going to mirror this across uh, the cursor with hard ups. So across the cursor, boom, right? Not a flip mirror, we want a regular mirror. So there we go, one more time. And then we're gonna get the, you know, uh, the quad sphere in the middle. Quad sphere comes from uh, machine tools. Just drop it in here. And then we're gonna build this bottom part here. And you know, and you don't have to be literal. It's it's all about it's all about placement. Okay, it's all about proportions. Do you see what I mean? You can then build your own shape out of this and create your own details. But the trick here is that you know you sure that the proportions are correctly sort of uh, you know uh, created and um, everything sort of lays in a specific position in three D space. That's going to make it look really good and balanced just like the original model do you see what i mean so now here we could borrow this cube shift d and when you're creating block outs you need to be very sort of loose with your idea you can't be too precise it's it's all about uh, you know placing stuff in a in a way that's going to allow you to it's going to allow you to lock in specific um, elements into specific places uh, that uh, will make sense in terms of again proportions and you know all the layout you see what i mean so if i'm gonna grab this mech now and put him in a different collection and i'm gonna turn it off you see that starts looking very balanced to me do you see what i mean so that's what you could use it for and i think it's absolutely brilliant right absolutely brilliant then we have this cylinder here in the back which we could just grab another you know another cylinder here shift d we could nuke the mirror because we don't need it bring it to the center so to cursor and then rotate it on x scale it down right bring it down here on z and then make it larger on y axis and bring it back so somewhere here then we got these pipes these are really really easy to create with um, with hard ups so i'm gonna go to grab a plane shift one to grab a vert with machine tools put my vert somewhere here obviously i have to align it so I'm going to align it in here and then I'm going to start, you know, extruding it to create this kind of a shape, right? So extrude it here, extrude it here. Let's just go to Alt-Z so we can see it. Then we can align them properly, right, on this mesh. So they create, you know, uh, the design that we want. There we go. And move this one here, right? Maybe a little bit lower. And then we can create a pipe out of this. So Q and let's go to mesh tools and curve extract. Actually, let's uh, add some joints here. So curve extract X, control A visual to mesh because I wanna create some joints here. It's a little bit of a trick. It's a small trick with hard ups. When you convert the curve back to, to a mesh and then back to a curve, you can kind of cycle between them, right? Press S, boom, let's go back. We can actually make it a little bit uh, thicker. And then we're gonna mirror this to the other side, right? And then you create the bottom part, which is easy as well. You can grab these, Shift D, scale them down, rotate them a little bit. Right, maybe, maybe, you know, grab one in here and then extrude it and Shift D and rotate it, right? Then scale it and S, Shift Z, Z. S shift there we go and move it somewhere here right like this and this one could be slightly larger and there you go and now you got everything in place right and then we need these on top right the uh, the bumpers but that's easy we can just grab a plane make it smaller move it somewhere here um make it a little bit larger right and then we're just gonna create the shift. Now we could do this with hard ups. We could uh, simply, um, and there's many ways of doing this. 
we could for example grab this plane here right make it larger like this and bend it so watch let me just make it larger apply scale then i'm going to subdivide it into more or less quads and then subdivide it some more uh, maybe that's that should be enough and then we're going to grab this uh, uh, supply rotation and then we're gonna go to hard ups so then we're gonna go with one of these modifiers here maybe this one i think this should be going on the other axis let's try there you go hold control and bend it that's how easy it is right with hard ups and then we can you know rotate it rotate it on x axis okay and then we're gonna just place it we can't see it so let's add some solidification modifiers solidify right, so i can see that thing and just place it somewhere here make it smaller then obviously you can you know adjust the solidification you can adjust the uh can we still adjust the there we go you can adjust the um the def um, the deform modifier because you can see it's still active right here the watch you hold control and you use dots these are smart modifiers from hard ups they called smart for a reason and then we need to scale it just a little bit like that then you know shift d move it up here rotate it on z by 90 then we're going to uh, bend it a bit more like this and then with this one uh, you know in place this could be a little bit smaller right somewhere here and longer so make it longer and we could just apply this you know so apply the this deformation and then we can actually play with it a little bit so remove these verts in the bottom like this and we could actually bend it as well so you know you could grab this edge here bend it like this right so it's gonna fit the uh, the shape you could rotate this one with alt r from machine tools machine tools there was x which is edge constraint which is a really good tool and that's why you know you should be using add-ons because that's important then there probably should be another loop in here like this right so grab this loop alt r there we go we can move it somewhere here Grab this one you know rotate it this whole thing right move it somewhere here and then this one probably should be well probably should be somewhere somewhere here right and there you go and then we can remove this bot again and see what we what we're having here it's pretty cool this obviously could be like slightly larger and higher right maybe slightly wider there we go and then we can you know run sub d on it but obviously this is just a block out yeah so and then mirror to the other side and you see that, that that's the whole point now you got a really nice block out and you have you know all the elements in specific positions that are gonna allow you to create a really nicely beautifully balanced model because it follows the the you know the basic kind of a uh, structure of the of the model we imported from from the image and if i'm going to load in the actual model from the course you'll see what i mean okay that's the model from the course so if you're interested in the sub d course get it it's fantastic i'll show you how to model this entire thing using just sub d and we're using add-ons so you're going to be learning not just sub d and sub d basics because there is an introductory section for this course but you're also going to be learning how to use effectively all these add-ons that most people think are just useless for sub d which is completely untrue they're just simply uneducated on this matter how to use all these add-ons effectively for sub d so hard ups box cutter mesh machine machine tools all these add-ons are being used in here and some other specific you know sub d add-ons free and paid so this course will teach you how to very efficiently work in sub d this entire model took you know less than four hours to build while recording and teaching so imagine how fast you could go if you just modeled it probably three hours you know very quick all right so now let's grab our block out to this blend file and let's just move this in here and i'm going to move a cursor to this model right to select it and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to parent it to this empty okay so i can easily scale it and whatnot now let me just grab an empty here a fresh one and i'm going to parent this to that empty so i can you know resize it scale it whatever right 
Let me just see that. Perfect. And let's go back. Let's align ourselves here and scale. All right. And you see that, you know, this block out is literally identical in terms of, you know, um, in terms of uh, proportions and how it's designed. See that? It's literally um, an, a mirror image. And that's how, you know, I would suggest you work with something got messed up in here. So, you know, that's how I would suggest you work using this uh, tripo. It's a really interesting solution, especially when you're struggling with block outs. This could be very helpful uh, to you and you could very quickly, you know, kind of uh, get a bit more you know, proficient with creating block outs because, again, creating block outs is, you know, the most important thing you can learn in 3D because it will determine the proportions of your model. Once you have proportions dialed in and your model looks really balanced, it's going to be very easy to add detail to your model because the detail will place itself, okay? It's just, it's so easy to, to place details. But when the block out is out of whack, your brain's going to tell you that something is wrong with it and it's going to be very difficult to do anything practical with that block out, all right? So anyway, I hope it helps you out. Like I said, you know, if you're interested, grab this sub -D course, it's fantastic. But if you're a beginner and you want to learn how to model properly and how to, you know, get into hard surface, then grab our course, Hard Surface Accelerator is fantastic. It will teach you how to create really nice block outs, how to progress from one stage to another, how to start adding secondary tertiary detail. In addition, there's a massive section over there on principles of design, so you'll learn how to create better designs on your own, which is something a lot of people are struggling with, right? So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.